Hey y'all, today my son's birthday, so I wanted to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. You welcome. <clears throat> know you wanted that biscuit this morning. How I feel to be 11 years old? Good. All right. Y'all see eating, feeding his face. So it is what it is. All right. I'm going to let you go on so you can go. I'll talk to you later on. Have a good day. Pop love you. All right. All right. Y'all, the day today, this morning, my son's birthday. As y'all see, he didn't stay with me last night. His mom was off this morning. So, he wasn't with me this morning. So, had to go out there and wish him a happy birthday and all that good stuff. Got some stuff planned later on for him. But, we'll see how that goes. So, yeah, I just, it make you reflect back uh, when he was born this time, 11 years ago. He was born at 9.15, so wasn't born yet. We was prepping and everything, getting ready. But uh, when he got here, his, his, his sister didn't like the fact that, you know, he was, she was getting ready to have a brother. But because it's for 14 years, just me and her. So when he came along, all the while that Devin's mom was pregnant, she didn't like it. Boy, boy, boy. She just, she couldn't stand the fact that it was going to be somebody else other than her. Because she always had all my attention. It was funny. But when he was born and she came to the hospital and she saw him, you know, when they had him in the doing the prep work and all that stuff and we, we, we got to see him she did not leave the wonder the whole time she did not leave the wonder so when they let him come out to, to us she couldn't hold him so she had to wait a week so she could hold him so when she did get to hold him oh man <laughs> It, it's been, you know, freaking frack, the yin yang twins, whatever you want to call them. It's been that. So I just go back and reflect on stuff like that. You know, when both of my kids were born, I always remember I was in the, the living room with both of them. So I saw both of my kids born. So that just made me have a whole lot more respect for women because I know what that is, what ordeal that is to have a child. I know how painful that is. I know how intense that is. Cause I swore to God that Nene mom was trying to kill me in there. She was holding my head and I can swear I can feel juice coming out my scalp and all that stuff. She was squeezing me just that hard. I was crying and she was too. So that brings back some good and bad memories. And then the doctor's gonna tell me if I pass out and hit the floor and bust my head wide open, they weren't going to do a damn thing. They were focusing on her and the baby. So I'd be over there wounded. Ain't that a shame? How can you tell somebody that? But that's what the nurses and the doctors told me. And they was in there joking with me the whole time about that. And they said they ain't never, ever had no father like me. They ain't never seen nothing like that. They were laughing damn near the whole time. But see, that's what Front of Bone does. I was nervous. That's why I was joking, because I was nervous. I know how that is. So, and people, that's what make me know and wonder and why y'all have not woken up with Donald Trump for our children, our grandchildren, our future friends and neighbors. And enemies. We can be enemies, like I said. We can be enemies uh, November the 6th. We can be enemies. 
But on November the 5th, go in there and vote blue. Go in there and vote Kamala Harris, Tim Walz, before we can have a future people, because we don't have one with Donald Trump. He already showing y'all what he's about. Y'all Spanish people in Pennsylvania, that speech he gave yesterday, and he told y'all just the mass deportation and all that stuff that he's going to try to do. He's talking about y'all. He ain't talking about no immigrants coming over here. He's talking about y'all too. That's already here. So y'all better wake the hell up and see the devil that's talking to you. Y'all better see it because in a couple of days, we don't have time for you not to be sure. Either you want a prosperous America or you want a racial America. That's all it's boiling down to, people. I'm telling y'all. This is very serious. I'm talking to y'all without my sunglasses on. So I'm telling y'all. Very serious, people. Very serious. Get up and vote. Don't listen at nothing. Nothing. But do this for your family and your future family. Go vote, people. And go vote the right way. Donald Trump means y'all no good. He don't mean no one no good except Elon Musk and the other rich people. That's all that he cares about. He don't care about the middle class. Like Kamala Harris said. You build up the middle class and you got a stronger America. Donald Trump knows that. He don't want no stronger America. Look how he trashes us. Look how he talk about how bad America is. Every chance he get, he running us down. Like the dictator he wants to be. And people, like I said, y'all might not see eye to eye with your neighbors. Y'all might have different opinions. Y'all might even vote different parties. But please put that aside, people. This maniac is going to make our lives miserable. Miserable. If you're not rich, if you're not on Elon Musk, those caliber in finances, you shouldn't be voting for this idiot. If you're not rich and expecting a damn big ass tax cut, then you shouldn't even be voting for Donald Trump. And I'm going to say this, and I usually don't say stuff like this. I'm talking to the brothers that look like me, same skin complexion. I'm talking about y'all. It appalls me that y'all can get on my channel and spew that same garbage that Donald Trump spews. And then you're going to try to trash Kamala Harris. And like I told him, you're ignorant. If you think that you find a fault in Kamala Harris, but you ain't found one in Donald Trump, son, just like I told you, I'm not going to waste my time even debating with you. I'm not going to waste my time even responding to you too many times. Because that let me know as a man that should know better that you're a damn idiot. And you one of the ones I'm trying to tell you, don't come on my channel trying to persuade me to like Donald Trump or support Donald Trump or you trying to discredit Kamala Harris. You wasting time. That's the reason why I told you that I'm not going to waste my time talking to you. Because I told y'all a long time ago, when people show you that they are beyond help, you can't reasonably talk to them. You can't reason with them. When you find people like that, leave them the hell alone. Don't offer them no advice. Don't try to say, ask them why in the world they think the way they do. You'll never understand it. Because if you did, you'll think the way they do too. So I got a lot of people that talking to me on the streets. And a lot of people just telling me that day by day, every little thing that he says, it turns them off, turns their stomach. Some of them. And like I said, Donald Trump is going to lose this race. Yes, he is. But he's going to lose it in the last two weeks. He's losing it now. Look at the rally he had. Pissed them all them Spanish people. Pissed them off. Talking about them. To their face. When somebody talk about you to your face, they don't respect you. 
when they can trash you in front of your face, they don't respect you. Just like his dumb ass did in Detroit. Forgot he was in Detroit. And told the people that was in Detroit in the rally, y'all going to end up like Detroit. Horrible in Detroit. Forgetting that's where the hell he's standing there talking. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's funny to me. And then y'all can get behind somebody like that. All the crimes he's committed. And trying to now. Trying to cheat right now. But that's all right in y'all ass because y'all just a racial he is if y'all still supporting him. Still supporting him. So people, like I said, special events like today, my son's birthday, I don't want it to be where he cannot have a great birthday as he possibly can. Because in the next couple of weeks, your way of life will be different. Whether it be good or bad is going to depend on you and how you vote. It's going to depend on you people. People can tell you and try to persuade you, but it's ultimately up to you. Which one candidate do you think you can trust the most? You think you can trust, trust Donald Trump more than you can trust Kamala Harris? Or you think you can trust Kamala Harris more than you can Donald Trump? Somebody with 34 convictions. How can you trust a criminal? You can't. And then he want to lead this country as a criminal. You can't. So, people, Donald Trump is not even qualified to even be the president because he's a convicted felon. Let's, let's just really tell you how it is. He's a convicted felon, and he has no business nowhere near Washington. He was there once before and look at the job he done. Was it a bang up job or was it a drop dead job? Because a lot of people dropped dead from COVID and everything else during his administration. People, y'all got to look back. Look back. Donald Trump was the worst president in history. Worst is documented. You think no folks just saying that? MAGA people. You think all these people just picking Donald Trump out to accuse him of all this stuff. For nothing. They don't got no evidence. They ain't got no audio, video. They ain't got none of that. Bank records. Bank statements. They ain't got none of that. Really? That's why his ass convicted. And y'all, I don't understand how y'all can think Donald Trump is good for this country. He wasn't the first time. He gonna be worse this time. If he's elected. Because anything's possible, people. If Donald Trump elected, like I said, we better be fleeing this country. We better get the hell on. Especially people that look like me. And y'all idiots that look like me supporting Donald Trump. See, don't he drop y'all like a hot potato once he back in there. He gonna discriminate against y'all too, fool. So do your research and stop listening to Donald Trump. Do your damn research, people. He's trying to mock Hitler. Did Hitler like black people? Did Hitler like any kind of uh, minorities? Not just black, Spanish, no matter. Minorities, you're not white. If you're not white and you're not rich, then you shouldn't even be voting for Donald Trump. I'm telling you. And all the rest of us should be voting the right way. So people, I'm going to get off here now. Like I said, I want to wish my son happy birthday. Proud of him, A B student, always mountable, and a real good football player. So proud of him. And that's the reason why I say some of the stuff I say for my son, my grandson. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody hoodwink you. Cause they'll try. Every single time. And if you let them, they'll keep doing it over and over and over. So people, the rhetoric and all this stuff that Donald Trump spews has then got him in trouble because he can't hide his racism. Y'all see what he said the other day about those Spanish folks in Pennsylvania. A key swing state that he needs. He done turned all those folks off because he can no longer hide his anger and racism 
So people, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if y'all like the video because it's going to be more of that to come. And I'm going to definitely keep you informed on what's going on. Definitely. Funny Bone is here to keep you informed. So you can make a great decision. And if you want to stay like you are, the other group, don't come on my channel trying to convince me to change my mind because it ain't happening. You might as well come with another question. Funny Bone, love y'all. Y'all have a good day. Peace.